are inherently spiritual. Think about it. When you're playing a game, and it's not too hard, and it's not too easy, and you're in that flow state, you aren't thinking about the future. You're not worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. You're not uh, angry about what happened yesterday or guilty about the mistakes. You know, you're in the now. And that is spirituality. So we wanted to take a game, create a game that tells a spiritual story, but at the same time brings it home in a practice. In, in, the, in the playing of the game, you experience the story of the Ramayana. The Ramayana is one of the two great Hindu epics, the other one being the Mahabharata, that from which comes the what's called the Hindu Bible, the Bhagavad Gita. Um, but the Ramayana is about Prince Ram, a great leader uh, thought to have lived roughly five to seven thousand years ago. Uh, he's a reincarnation of Krishna uh, and perfection, perfection in leadership, uh, in dedication, in devotion, um, who is facing his greatest challenge. The demon king Ravana has kidnapped his wife and wants to make her his own wife. So Ram is, uh, Ram's on a, uh, on a tight schedule. He's got to get to her. He doesn't even know where she is. She could be anywhere in the world. He wants to get to her, rescue her, have, having to vanquish the, the army of the demon king Ravana um, as quickly as possible. There's not much time. So he, t he gives Hanuman the task of finding her and delivering his ring to her so she knows that he is on his way. That there is, so she is not de feeling defeated, that she knows there's hope. Uh, so Hanuman's, uh, you know, he's confused, he's worried. He doesn't know how he's going to find her. He doesn't know how he's going to get to her. He knows she's far away. He doesn't know where. Uh, what he doesn't know also is that he is actually the son of the wind god and is able to fly. He has forgotten this because of a curse. He's forgotten his superhuman powers. Uh, Jambavan, uh, who is another great um, warrior, helps him to remember his, his powers, helps him to, to um, feel confident again in what he's capable of doing. Uh, and so he's on the, he's on the beach uh, in southern India. He starts running up the beach toward Lanka, uh, feeling this power flowing through him more and more, uh, reaches supersonic speed, creates a sonic boom, and leaps to the island of Lanka. Uh, of course, he still has to fight through a, a, a demon army. Um, several uh, major characters, Sarasa, who is a, a demon with uh, snake arms, and Mika, a demon with, with uh, sort of like a huge octopus 200 feet tall, uh, fight a demon army, then, uh, then uh, vanquish Lankini, who's a demigod, on the end of Lanka before he, he, uh, he can actually find uh, Sita. Uh, so how we bring the player to experience this is, uh, use, first of all, by use of the accelerometer on the Android and iPhone uh, platforms, so that when Hanuman's flying, you can actually steer it like you might uh, um, uh, a plane. Bloody battle. When you're sliding, you're actually, again, using the accelerometer. When, you, when you're fighting some of the demon hordes, you're using the accelerometer with the iPhone like a sword, slashing at the, at the, uh, at the hordes. When you're, uh, uh, there's all, it's a 3D game. We have 3D artists in India, California, New York, Florida, uh, an army of artists. We also use traditional mobile 3D uh, game controls with the uh, joystick, uh, thumb, thumb, uh, thumb control, um, uh, buttons for jumping, for, for slashing, for whirling. It's a game that uh, um, we hope will bring the story home in a fun, family-friendly way.